Denton is a small, tight-knit triad community. So when one of their own needs help, neighbors come together to go above and beyond. WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey went and spoke to some of uh, the people who helped two women in need. Less than two weeks ago, Mary Kay Lenore and her sister were headed out for the day when suddenly the deck collapsed beneath their feet. EMS transported both ladies to the hospital where they were treated for their injuries. Although they were safe from danger, Mary Kay no longer had a way back into her home. So the good people of Denton and Helping Hands Community Outreach knew they were on deck to save the day. Just the day before this moment, Mary Kay Lenore's back porch looked like this. Although she wasn't too badly hurt, she now had no way in and out of her home. I contacted Helping Hands. This is our fourth partnership with them uh, to meet needs in our community. We call it our mission in our own backyard, see a need and meet a need. Deanna Hurley Chamberlain is a member of the New Hope Volunteer Fire Department. Members of her team were the first ones to arrive on the scene of the collapsed deck. Once she saw what happened, she knew what she needed to do. And then I put out um, a call to all the area church contacts. And we sort of network that way here in this community, taking care of your own. Regina Shaw is a member of Helping Hands Community Outreach in Denton. Once she heard what had took place, she wanted to get as many people as possible to help. So she made this post on Facebook and the community did the rest. So the fire department put out the call and our director got the call and the director called me and I hit social media. People from all over the area started showing up and got right to work. Bargain Box in Lexington donated the needed materials. Mid-State Equipment donated a bobcat to help with the cleanup. And two local restaurants provided breakfast and lunch for volunteers. As always, what can we do to help? What do you need? Who do I write a check to? Who do I go to? It's, they jump on it immediately. Our community is very, very much about taking care of each other. Helping Hands of Denton says the Denton community will always be building a, oh, excuse me, the Denton community will be building a matching ramp for the front mm. of the house as well for Ms. Mar uh, Mar Martha Kay in the near future. Well, that's good news. Um, how scary that must have been to just be walking out with a friend and have your deck collapse. You know, I, I love that this story is about the power of social media, but also the power of small communities, right? And just close knit towns that really support each other. You know, you see that so much, Maddie, you're right, about small communities. And not that larger cities won't do that, they will, but it's just amazing how quickly the smaller communities will respond. And then you got everybody from, you know, people just helping out, some donating larger items like the Bobcat, and then the food from the restaurants, mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about. Yeah, because word travels quick in a small town, and, and you probably went to school with this person, or your parents went to school with that person, so it feels like you're helping out family. That's a good point. Absolutely. That's what it felt, felt like when I was down there. Multiple people came out, multiple families came out just to help uh, Miss Martha Kay. And it was just a wonderful experience to be a part of. I love that. Good news out of Denton. We always love to hear about.